Hello, hello, and welcome to another video. And in this one, I'm going through my first in real life haul on this channel. And that includes some art that I brought at a local convention. Um, so we had a small convention here, it's very small uh, in my hometown. So all of these artists are quite local, at least to my state, I believe. So that's, it's really exciting. And I just really wanted to show and promote some uh, local artists. Um, so this here is Shiku Designs, and I brought uh, six stickers from her uh, stall, largely Studio Ghibli, uh, with holographic glittery bits throughout, um, but also Kiro and Spinel, and they're absolutely adorable. They have a watercolor feel to them, and I can't wait to use them. Um, so all the information about all the artists I show, I will put down below so you can uh, see and find them all. Uh, if anything interests you, or you want to check them out or follow them. Um, this next doll I brought from is uh, Bishart, and Bishart has a range of different kinds of art, um, including these lovely, fancy, dressed cats. There was a whole series of them. I just brought two, but I would definitely buy more. They are absolutely lovely. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I didn't really want more of them. Um, but I also really, really liked this piece. This is lovely, sort of like, uh, impressionistic, quality to it. That's the kind of art that I really like creating. So I find it real inspiring. And this last piece is a fan art, I believe, of um, Gwendolyn Christie's Lucifer in the show uh, Sandman. Um, and next I brought from a few stickers from a store, uh, Nenekodi. Nen Nenekodi. Uh, again, everything will be in the description below, and I apologize if I butcher any names. Um, but I brought these lovely stickers of the Boulder's Gate Companions. I would have brought all six, but there was only four there. I quite like Boulder's Gate, so these were just so lovely to have. Um, look at how cute they are, a cute little Asterian, and... My main girl, Carlac, absolutely adore them, and they also have that holographic sheen to them, and they're just such adorable little designs. Really, really love them. Uh, so that's Ninekodi, super cute. Um, next was a store called Brain Beast Studios. Um, now, I brought one sticker from them, but they were giving, everyone who brought something got a free sticker of their logo. It's a really badass logo, honestly. Um, but the sticker that I brought, so cute. Bride of Frankenstein living her best life. Looks so boss. I absolutely love that. And the last store I brought from is a uh, store Meow? Meow? Ow? Meow. I am not sure how I pronounce that one. Um, but it was a really, really lovely uh, Jinx fan art, so Jinx from Arcane, which is a show that I absolutely flipping love. Um, one of my favorite shows, I think. I, I really like this, but I like that not only is it a gorgeous fan art of the character, with those like cute little faces, but it encapsulates a lot of the artistic style from the show in the background. It's, it's really clever. It's really, really impressive. Uh, so I'm really, really happy with my little haul from the convention. All these lovely little stickers and art pieces. And I love the different papers that artists will print on. Like the Jinx is on a photo-like paper. Uh, the cat papers, they're like cards. like with tech, Almost like uh, your certificate cards. Those fancy ones, you know? Um, and how that affects the different ways that the art looks. I think that's really, really cool. Um, I never really thought about the different paper you can print on and how that changes things. Uh, so that's really cool. I'm really happy with all this. 
Uh, if any of this interests you, check out the description below. Uh, and on to the actual in real life haul. Now, I may have mentioned in a previous video, I don't have any really good art shops where I live. So it's about an hour or so away um, where I go to Geelong and there's this really lovely store. It's Cavalier Art Supplies. They also have an online store, which I will link. Um, and it's just, it's really, really beautiful. There's something about being surrounded by art supplies that just kind of, I don't know, gets my heart racing and my creativity flowing. Um, but it's a big store. There are other art stores in the area, but this one is my favorite. So this is the main one that I went to and I'm just sort of showing off all the different bits and pieces. Um, but no, I... I really do love shopping in person. Um, it's just so fun. Uh, now these are the only things that I brought from a different store. It's more of a craft shop than an art supply store. So you go there for my mom's paper crafts. But they have these really cool liquid watercolor. It was really hard for me to get the camera to focus. So I just got rid of that. I think I spent a solid two minutes just trying to get the camera to focus on the label. And it wouldn't. I am a struggle, but they were really nice colors, and this art journal just looked really, really cool. Um, it didn't have any information on what the paper is, uh, so I don't know, and I tried looking it up online, and nothing really wanted to come up. Um, I will test it out later, and later in this video, and you'll see it's real, it's, and it's not cotton paper. Um, but the good thing about the folder itself is that I can replace the paper with others if I want and have this as sort of even a swatching book. Um, and so I can flick through everything like a little folio. Um, the paper that's in there is quite thick and it is very toothy, um, which you're not getting at all in the camera. I am very sorry. Um, but it's from a brand called Art by Marlene. Um, which does a lot of like crafty stuff and it's just a really really pretty journal uh this one in particular is called the perfect size uh so i'll try and link uh all of these different things below so you can see if anything you want um but on to what i brought from cavalier art i brought two della rally acrylic inks never had acrylic uh, acrylic ink before um, apart, actually, the white Windsor and Newton ink is acrylic ink, but, um, yeah, so these I brought, uh, in the metallic colors. As if you've probably noticed, I do have a bit of a soft spot for metallics, um, and I just want to play with them. I brought a few different white pencils to test out on black paper and see what I prefer. So I brought the Lyra Rembrandt Polycolor in white, the Derwent Studio Chinese white. Um, gosh, they, it's really not focusing. I am so sorry for that. Um, I also got the Prismacolor white, um, sorry, Blanc, and the Faber-Castell white which is so shiny you can't even see which not great um but i brought some really really cheap handmade uh cotton paper from a brand called zart um it was only six dollars and i really wanted to try and almost try in compared to the cardi paper which i've heard a lot about and really wanted to try which was on sale which was really nice i haven't actually tested them out because I am a <laughs> I don't want to waste the Cardi paper but I have tested out the Zard paper and I do really like it so I am excited to see where I can go with this from here uh, and you know all the different things that I can create um, it's it's pretty exciting I brought some more watercolor pencils because I'm a little too intimidated to use the Faber-Castell ones. Um, because they, I, I'm terrible at using things. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. But these are really, really lovely. 
I swatched them all out at the end of this video. Um, but I've actually used them a few times since, and I really, really, really love them. Um, definitely, definitely recommend. Now, I brought some different paper, because the Canson was all really reasonably priced. Uh, so I brought that black pastel paper. It's really toothy on one side, and fairly smooth on the other. So I kind of want to play with that. Even though I found that soft pastels are not exactly my preferred, I feel like there's a lot of different things that could go on toothy paper like that. Uh, so I brought some of their Montreal watercolor paper, which I am excited to use. Um, I have yet to go through all my watercolor paints. I have a boatload of them that I have not gone through yet. I need to, but it's there's so many and it's very intimidating. So that is to come. Um, and lastly, I brought the Cella Grain uh, in the taupey color. Uh, again, it's quite toothy on one side and not so much on the other, but significantly less toothy than the pastel and the Montreal. 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 I'm using Montreal like the state. Um, the state? The city in Canada. Gosh, I do not know my global. Global. Just. I don't know things globally. I'm so sorry. Anyway, that was all that I got. Um, and now I'm going to do a bit of swatching uh, and testing out the, the, firstly, these liquid watercolors on the paper just to see how good it was. And it, unfortunately, the paper is terrible uh, for a watercolor at least. I used one thing on it and it's not too bad. Um, but the, the paper, as you can see, absolutely not designed for big, big washes of water, uh, which is unfortunate, but you live and learn. And um, it's actually made like for a really good experiment because it helped me see uh, as I do all the colors here and how quickly it's soaked in and it's just unmovable compared to some of the paper I try later, uh, it also changes how the paint looks. It changes the brightness completely. Uh, now I did have a little bit of trouble with the chocolate. It seems to be a thicker paint than the other ones. No matter how much you mix it up, it's just thicker. And so the top of it will get a little stuck sometimes. It needs to be cleaned out. Uh, the dropper, I mean, the top of the dropper. Um, but other than that, I do quite like the Hero Arts liquid watercolor. Um, I do not like the Art by Marlene paper for watercolor. Um, but not all paper is watercolor paper. Uh, it is just unfortunate. Uh, I don't do things by halves. And once I started, I couldn't stop. However, the Zart 100% cotton paper is really amazing uh and only six dollars for 10 sheets it's kind of crazy and it makes the hero art liquid watercolor look so so freaking beautiful uh it's absolutely stunning i really really like these i would consider getting more liquid watercolor uh it's been something i've been interested in for a while um but i'd get more of this brand and if nothing else use it on this paper because they're stunning together. It's so vibrant and alive. Um, but no, I am really happy with this. And I just get so distracted by how much the water moves in its little pockets. It's absolutely stunning. And there was no uh, drip through. Uh, so I do believe that this paper is not lying when it says it's 100% cotton paper. Um... And while it's still wet, it scrubs back super easy. Um, just dabbing it worked so well. But no, so I'm super impressed with both the paper here and the uh, liquid watercolor. I'm really happy. Can't wait to use these. It's, it's absolutely lovely. And so exciting. I love finding good supplies at a cheap price. I'm sure everybody does. Um, but yeah, so did I even explain what colors that I'd gotten here? 
We've got terracotta, uh, terracotta, cocoa, and coffee. Um, but as you look at the difference between how faded and washed out these colors look on non-watercolor paper, uh, and just how sad they look compared to their vibrancy on cotton paper, it's, it's like day and night. It's so different. It's absolutely stunning. Um, so yeah, I really do recommend the Zart 100% uh, cotton paper and the Hero Arts liquid watercolor. Um, the Art by Marlene journal, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you're interested in that sort of thing, definitely get it. Just know, not for your super duper duper wet mediums, uh, not for watercolor, that sort of thing. I don't think it's designed that way in the first place, but I have to test these things out and make a whole mess of it, as I do. I mean, art's not fun unless you're making a mess, right? Uh, so now I'm going to swatch out all the jazz art studio pencils. Um, I actually quite like jazz art uh, so far from what I've tried. Uh, now this, uh, I think, yes, it focuses. It's like a significant, significant sale on these, uh, which is why I brought them, because I am a sucker for a sale and I have no, uh, no self-control. No self-control, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but they're really nice pencils, and this set comes with a size 6 water brush, um, which I didn't use for this, but I have used since. I find the water brushes, or the aqua brushes, whatever they're called, a lot easier to use for this sort of swatching. Um, but the brush itself, it's quite a nice brush. Um, I'm happy that it's in there. It's all uh, really good. But these, these paints, they're so pretty and vibrant. Uh, this is the book that I used in the previous video. I have completely forgotten the brand of it, but I will link it below. It's only 30% cotton, um, but it works really, really well. I'm really happy to have it. I'm happy to have these pencils. I've used, like I've said, I've actually used these ones where I was too scared to use the... Uh, Faber Castell ones. Still, um, I feel like I need to be better to use the better supplies, but I can't stop myself from buying them. It's a real catch twenty two. It's like I want to use these good art supplies because I want to practice with what I will, you know, want to use permanently. And if I want to sell art, which is you know sort of like an idea for down the line, but not yet. Um, but at the same time, I don't feel like I'm worthy to use them and it's it's a real tricky mindset really got to get myself out of that um, but these pencils are good quality but not so expensive and they're absolutely stunning like I freaking love these um, if there is interest I will do like a full drawing on camera with them uh, and put them out and sort of show my process. Uh, might be a good idea because then people can give me tips and tricks on how to utilize color watercolor pencils a little better. Um, but mostly I just mess around and figure out what I like. Um, but no, I really, really, really like these. 110% recommend, especially if you're able to get them on sale like I did. Uh, it's sales are so so good um and sometimes you get a bargain because yeah if these were at the original price 82 dollars i wouldn't have brought them um but because they were 30 dollars off or give or take i couldn't help but give them a try and i'm so glad i did um yeah it that that's what's good about sales uh, they don't have much in the way of rewettability. It's like once they dry, they're pretty dry. Uh, they don't move much. There's like a faintness, but it might still have been slightly damp. Um, but yeah, that's the same as the Faber-Castell Elbridge Dewar watercolor pencils. They don't move much once they're significantly dry. 
Uh, I think if that might just be like a watercolor pencil thing, I think most of them do that from other videos I've seen. Once the pigment has been moved around, it's pretty set in its space. Um, which is good for layering if you are interested in that sort of thing, which is how it's been like pretty good for me. There's like tiny subtle amounts of blending, which kind of, you know, almost adds to it. It's, it's, it's really good. I really like using watercolor pencils. Um, and I want to get into using actual watercolor, but like I said, I need to go through my massive tub of watercolors. Um, but it is too intimidating and I have been putting it off. Uh, which is also why I'm not, I'm trying not to buy actual watercolors until I go through that tub and see what I have. Uh, but I don't know. I'm terrible. I'm terrible at this. Uh, I know I've gotten, I've, I've gotten a few comments here and there from other people who have similar, similar problems where love buying art supplies and then not using them or arts and crafts supplies and that we don't use them. It's, it's such a terrible mindset. Ugh. The good thing though with like a, a few of these different supplies, unlike the acrylic paints, which will dry up and be unusable, I feel like the watercolor pencils will hold for a while. Um, I don't know if they'll hold forever, but a significant time they can sit and wait for me to get better and feel more comfortable. And then... I can play with the fabric Castell ones when I finally feel like I'm worthy. Um, but until then, I have these absolutely lovely um, Jazz Art Studio pencils, which I heartily, heartily recommend. They're such lovely colors. And like I said, you can layer them to get that depth because some of them are quite light quite transparent. I mean, watercolor is transparent, um, but some of these take it to the next level. But I think with the layering, you can get really decent coverage. And I, I really appreciate that. I'm really excited to just keep kicking ass and <laughs> going forward with my art, uh, art journey. If anyone else has some really good watercolor pencils they want to recommend, that's at a lower cost, not like your super high-end ones. I would love to know. I'm really into watercolor pencils, so I'd love to hear different brands uh, at a lower cost that are still really, really good. Um, but these ones, these ones keep me happy right now. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, but yeah, no, absolutely recommend these. If you're interested, I would get them. Uh, but if you already have, like, a lot of watercolor pencils, maybe don't. Maybe we're all as bad as each other. Um, but here I am showing that paper again with the acrylic ink. So this is the Art by Marlene paper. And with the acrylic ink, it doesn't go through at all. It's much better at holding that. Um, I still think that, you know... Drier mediums are probably better because there's not a whole lot of movement there if you wanted it. But as it is, these colors are so pretty. When they're in the direct light, it's hard to see. But moving them, you can see that absolutely stunning shimmer. Um, so yeah, no, I definitely recommend the Dela De Rowley paints. Um, you can sort of see the ink on top of them. Sorry, the fine liner on top of them. I uh, heartily recommend these. I'm going to buy some more. Um, now I also brought those white pencils. I do a whole swatch of them on black paper that I'm going to keep in a separate video for people that are interested specifically for that. Um, but as is, most of the things I got, I really, really, really recommend. I hope you learned something. Um, and if I'm lucky, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!